do we need to have a special program for returners? It's a really good question and I think that the whole concept of a return to work program will evolve from where it was when they were first um, they were first I suppose done over here in 2014. Um, I think that if we had parity at that mid and senior level, of course we wouldn't need to do things like this, but the reality is that we don't. And the reality is that there is, whether it's a real or perceived risk in hiring someone with a CV gap, that needs to be uh, addressed. And the structure of a return to work programme over that three month period, or indeed six months in some cases programme, provides that low risk structure for the employer to, um, to, to really have time to assess that candidate um, in a way that they perhaps can't if they've got a, a, a CV gap. And I think, you know, there are, every returner is different, every situation is different, um, and many candidates are absolutely appropriate just to go straight into permanent positions, maybe they might need a bit of additional support in those early days, maybe not. Um, but I think that there are many, many returners out there who have had a, a perhaps a longer gap, who find that the the structure of a return to work programme is an appropriate um, is an appropriate one to mitigate the risk perhaps for the employer but also mitigate the risk for them and to set expectations at a level that they're happy with and to 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 ensure that there is a, a, a thoughtful process around their return to work that provides them with that support that they need the technical skills updating the um, the confidence uh, regaining their professional confidence and I think you know regardless of whatever happens at the end of that program that returner is um, is going to end up with some very CV worthy experience at the end of it. Mm -hmm.